Hi everyone, I'm Lachlan Ansel, or just Lockie, you probably know me as. Hey there, it's David Haynes from SimSpeed TV, also commentating iRacing with Race Spot and with HJBC. A good commentator is someone who can enhance the vision and the sounds that people can see and hear for themselves and translate it into a narrative that tells the story of, of what people can see and hear. Oh, here we go. Goes for the big send up the inside into turn three. Can he get it stopped? They'll go side by side on the exit, but I reckon that Boyd might have just managed to make the move stick. And I've always said that the hallmark of a really good commentator is someone who can maintain the attention and the interest levels of the audience, even when there's not necessarily something happening that's particularly interesting or exciting. When it comes to you know moving my commentary forwards, always trying to improve. I think there's there's a couple things that help. One of them is uh, just watching a lot of other motorsport, hearing how other commentators go about it, and wh where the excitement and the passion comes from with their broadcasts. Also, sometimes listening back to my own commentary, even when I wasn't a hundred percent happy with it, just to try and make sure I keep moving it forward each time. First, one of those drivers who was quite quick in qualifying has looked pretty quick, but had just a couple little problems that's dropped him back some spots. So maybe he'll try to size up on this one, close it in. I do have a massive soft spot for real-life Hyundai XL racing because the first car that I actually raced was a Hyundai XL, which was in the 24 Hours of Lemons back in 2016 and had a lot of fun and got a really good result. Apart from that, I love watching and commentating real-life XL racing because you always know that it's going to be really close, really exciting, and there's always going to be a mass collection of cars battling it out for the race win in any given event. What's greatest about it is the, the affordability, that it's something people who thought maybe they were too far along in life to start racing can jump into uh, people who thought maybe they were never going to be able to afford to go racing can step in get their toes wet and start at that level of motorsport and it, it, motorsport's always too expensive so anything that makes it more accessible more affordable it is a great category that should be supported people to watch in the circuit xl a series well ethan grigolt has definitely established himself as the driver to beat and he's the one who has a target on his back but it's encouraging to see that he's got some pretty high quality opposition um tommy saunter chun had a really good run at phillip island we've seen others like lachlan beneath and uh, ben bargwana continuing to improve as well so i'm looking forward to seeing the results continue to evolve over the course of the series i'll tell you what there wasn't much space there they make contact and it's Greg Galt who gets fired off the racetrack they were side by side and Greg Galt our championship leader is in the wall some of the people you're going to want to keep your eyes on is both the people with a lot of sim racing experience who are proving that like Ethan Greg Galt Jackson Susan Harlow and that like but also, like any kind of competition, seat time is going to pay off. So the people who are putting in a lot of practice in the TCR, maybe driving it across some other categories, are also really going to start to shine as we get further into this series. So people like uh, Chelsea Angelo and some others who have been driving this car a lot, some different series and making sure they get their practice in, uh, they're really going to continue to improve, I think, through this championship. Thanks so much. I hope you all enjoy your racing in iRacing for the time being. Hope you get back out on track soon. And also, hope you enjoy the broadcast because it's been a ripper time putting them together.